All right, how's it going, y'all? Today we're going to be talking about how to set up email notifications on your Synology NAS using a free Gmail account. This way, Synology will be able to send you emails using your Gmail account about any issues that happen. So say a drive fails, you will get an email about that rather than just having to check DSM and see if anything happens or listen for a beep. It's a really good way to make sure your NAS is always up and running, and if critical things happen, you will get notified of them. So really, there are a few different ways you could set this up. The most common would be either a Gmail account, which is really easy to use with Synology and is free, or an SMTP account. So SMTP is basically an email messaging protocol that allows devices to send emails on behalf. And it's got really easy authentication. You can really easily set it up with AWS's SES for simple email services. However, if you're just a single user, you can probably just use Gmail. The one thing to note, because it is Google's authentication, one day Google may just go, oh, I don't think Synology is actually secure enough to allow emails to be sent from Synology's. We are going to now ban them, and you might not even know. And so if you're doing this for a client or something, it might not be the worst idea to set it up with SMTP. That way you know the protocol will always be working, and so it just won't have any issues. But for home users, Gmail should be totally fine. All right, it's incredibly easy to set this up on a Synology NAS. All we're gonna go ahead and do is log into DSM, and then we're just gonna go into Control Panel. Then from Control Panel, all you go down to is Notifications, and it's incredibly easy. All you have to do is click Enable Email Notifications, choose an email address, I'll send it to will at spacerex.co, and give it a subject prefix. This is basically what's going to go in front of the thing, just so you know what's talking. And then under service provider is where you can choose different things. You can do Gmail, Outlook, QQ. I actually don't know what QQ is or that custom SMTP server. So for this video, we're going to go ahead and do a Gmail. And so what we're going to do is we've selected Gmail and now we've just got this button right here that says log into Gmail. And now we're going to be redirected to Google's authentication and we're just going to select the Gmail account you'd like to use. And you've got to allow it to send emails on your behalf. And so that's good, it's only sending emails, which means it cannot read our inbox. It's always good to check these restrictions just to make sure nobody does anything too funny. And just click allow. All right, and so now it does a final check to say, hey, we're about to do notifications based off of your IP address. Make sure it's the right IP address. And my tutorial DSM is at 10.0.2.10, and so I'm gonna click agree. And just like that, we are now good. We'll go ahead and click a send a test email. And so if we go over here, we can see right here, dear user, congratulations, you have successfully set up tutorial DSM, boom, we now have email. And so that means the entire process has worked and that we will be receiving emails when this Synology needs to send them out, which is good. Now we can also go into advanced here and this is where we can see what kind of messages we get. So basically what it does is it says, hey, these are the different options you get. You can get emails, text messages, or mobile push notifications if you have the DSM app. And you get to choose which things go to which email addresses. And so you've got a lot of customization you can do here. You can even say, edit the message for a specific one. It's got a lot of very specific things you can choose, and so they've done a really good job of opening this up if you really need to. This is also something you're really gonna to wanna to set up if you do have two-factor authentication, just in case your authentication code breaks for whatever reason. All right, and really that's all there is to it. Now our Synology NAS is gonna be able to send us notifications via email for whatever happens. This way, if something goes wrong, we'll know about it as soon as it happens, and that means if a drive fails, we can go and fix it as soon as possible, which is a really great setting they've got here, and it seems to work really well. Though do note, Gmail may one day just say, oh, I don't think that's safe enough. I'm going to de-authenticate this account. And so it's a little risky for that. But that's pretty unlikely, given the fact that Synology is currently using OAuth 2 for this, which is what Gmail wants everyone to go to. All right, well, that's it for this tutorial. Go ahead and leave any of the tutorials you'd like to see me make in the comments below, and have a good one. Bye.